hope you've sent your announcements yet? No, there's no point, really. Renee knows that I'm graduating. Who else is there? How about you, Alice? All done. Lucky you! My mother has a thousand cousins, and she expects me to hand a dress, one to everybody. I'm going to get carpal tunnel. I can't put it off any longer, and I'm just dreading it. I'll help you, if you don't mind my awful handwriting. That's so nice of you. I'll come over any time you want. Actually, I'd rather go to your house if that's okay. I'm sick of mine. Charlie ungrounded me last night. Well, this is great, Stella. We'll have to go out to celebrate. Is it nap time already, Alice? Sorry. I was daydreaming, I guess. Daydreaming's better than facing two more hours of school. Do you suppose I'm allowed inside again? Charlie didn't throw a fit when you picked me up at school. It's so slow, this computer. Are we a little impatient today? Bella. I'd say I'm sorry, but I'm not. And I should feel sorry that you're not sorry, but I don't. That stereo was a gift to you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. From Emmett, Rosalie, and Jasper. It would hurt their feelings if they saw this. I guess it's a good thing that you've been on house arrest. I'll have to get another one in place before they notice. Thanks, but I don't need a fancy stereo. It's not for your sake that I'm going to replace it. You didn't get much out of your birthday presents last year. Do you realize these are about to expire? What? These tickets to Florida from Esme and Carlisle. So you can visit your mom? No, I'd actually forgotten about them, actually. Well, we still have a little time. Why not celebrate your freedom this way? By going to Florida? Are we going to see Renée or not? Charlie would never allow it. Charlie can't keep you from visiting your mother. She still has primary custody. Nobody has custody of me. I'm an adult. Exactly. Not this weekend. Why not? I don't want to fight with Charlie. Not so soon after he's forgiven me. I think this weekend is perfect. Another time. What did Alice see at lunch today? She's been seeing Jasper in a strange place, somewhere in the southwest. She thinks near his former family, but he has no conscious intentions to go back. Oh. It's almost finished, Dad. Good. Hello, Edward. Hello. Will you excuse me? I already ate. 
That was great, Bells. Thanks, Dad. I'm glad you liked it. How was work? Sort of slow. I talked to Billy on the phone. How is he? Good. He invited us down to visit this weekend. Huh. Charlie, did Bella ever tell you that my parents gave her airplane tickets on her last birthday so that she could visit Renée? Bella? Yeah, they did. No, she never mentioned it. Hmm. Was there a reason you brought it up? They're about to expire. I think it might hurt Esme's feelings if Bella doesn't use her gift. It's probably a good idea for you to visit your mom, Bella. She'd love that. I'm surprised you didn't say anything about this, though. I noticed that you said they're about to expire, Edward. Just one for her, and one for me. That's out of the question. Why? You just said it was a good idea for her to see her mother. You're not going anywhere with him, young lady. I'm not a child, Dad. I'm not grounded anymore, remember? Oh, yes, you are, starting now. For what? Because I said so. Do I need to remind you that I'm a legal adult, Charlie? This is my house. You follow my rules. If that's how you want it, do you want me to move out tonight? Or can I have a few days to pack? It's not like I'm headed off to Vegas to be a showgirl or anything. I'm just going to see Mom. I know that, Bella. You better hope that I don't mention this to her. You'd better not. So my homework is done, your dinner is done, the dishes are done, and I'm not grounded. I'm going out. I'll be back by 10.30. Where are you going? I'm not sure. I'll keep it within a 10 mile radius though, okay? What was that? I know you want to see your mother, Bella. You've been talking about her in your sleep. Worrying, actually. I have. But clearly, you were too much of a coward to deal with Charlie. You threw me to the sharks. I don't think you were in any danger. I told you, I didn't want to fight with Charlie. Nobody said you had to. I can't help myself when he's all bossy like that. My natural teenage instincts overpower me. Well, that's not my fault. So what do you want to do tonight? Can we go to your house? I haven't seen Esme in so long. She'll like that. Especially when she hears what we're doing this weekend. <laughs> 